During photosynthesis, plants make their own food. This is made in the form of the sugar glucose. This diagram shows a chloroplast containing chlorophyll found in photosynthesizing plant cells. Light energy is captured and then it's used by the chloroplast which transfers the energy required for a chemical reaction that produces a sugar. Photosynthesis is a reaction in which energy is transferred from the environment to chloroplasts by light. What type of reaction is this if it requires energy to be transferred in? Photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction. This process requires light energy to be transferred in to produce the sugars. Endothermic reactions are reactions that require energy to be transferred inwards. You should be able to describe photosynthesis as an endothermic reaction in which energy is transferred from the environment by light. So then, what are the reactants and the products of photosynthesis? During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water are taken in. So this diagram shows the process of carbon dioxide being taken in at the leaves and water taken up via the roots. Sugars, or glucose, are produced alongside oxygen. So sugars and oxygen are made from this reaction, with the waste product oxygen being released from the leaves. Remember that the gases move in and out of the leaves via the stomata using the process of diffusion, and the water moves up into the plant via the process of transpiration. Can you think what factors are needed for photosynthesis to occur? For photosynthesis, plants need carbon dioxide, water, warmth and light energy. The proper name for the product of photosynthesis is glucose, but you may also see this being referred to as sugars or food. So inside the chloroplast of plant cells, carbon dioxide and water are reacting. This happens using the transfer of light energy from the sun to produce glucose and oxygen. How can photosynthesis be represented with an equation? The photosynthesis reaction may also be written as a word equation. So this is the word equation, carbon dioxide and water with light make glucose and oxygen. Light appears above the arrow rather than as part of the reaction because it's neither a reactant nor a product, but it is needed for this reaction to take place. Now this word equation can be written as a symbol equation shown here at the bottom of the screen. So we have carbon dioxide plus water, which makes glucose and oxygen. You need to be able to recall this equation for your exam. The sixes in front of the carbon dioxide and the water mean that six of each of these are needed to produce one molecule of glucose with six molecules of oxygen produced as a waste product. Make sure that you're able to recognize the chemical symbols CO2 as carbon dioxide, H2O as water, C6H12O6 as glucose, and O2 as oxygen. It's also good practice to recall the balanced equation, so making sure that you have these sixes, but that's not required for your exams. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!